All right, so for this problem, we are given a normal stress in this bone, and we are also given the two forces P acting on the bone, and we are instructed to determine the inner diameter of the bone, which is hollow. So I'm going to go ahead and start by writing what's given, which is going to be our average stress of 3.80 megapascals. You're given the force P, which is 1280 newtons. And we are also given the outer diameter, which is 25 millimeters. Okay, and so I'm also going to write down the formulas we're going to use here, which is the average stress formula, which is P over A, and the formula for the area of a circle and when we have a hollow um, item like this with the inner and outer diameter we're going to do pi over 4 times the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared all right so let's go ahead and start by trying to solve here for area and we're going to go ahead and start with this 3.80 megapascals, which is the average stress. So we're going to be using this average stress formula from up here. Set that equal to P over A. And we know that our force P is 1280 newtons. Our area is pi over 4. And we know the outer diameter, which is 25 millimeters. But we do not know the inner diameter. So we're solving for this inner diameter here. So what we can go ahead and do is multiply over this side. And divide this uh, average stress on this side. And we know that one megapascal, I'm going to write this to the side, one megapascal is equal to one newton per millimeter squared. So we're going to use this conversion to get our units in millimeters. And so we're going to go ahead and divide by pi on this side and multiply by four on this side, get rid of the pi over four. And then we're going to go ahead and do some rearrangement here. You're going to add this over here and then subtract this over to this side. And we're going to get the inner diameter squared is equal to 196.1 millimeters squared. Then we can go ahead and take the square root of both of these. And we're going to get that the inner diameter is equal to 14.0 millimeters. And that's it for this problem.